Now let's talk about the school board and the gender identity policy. At the regular meeting on Tuesday, the board amended the school board non-discrimination policy to include students who do not identify with the gender assigned at birth. A lot of people are upset over this, especially about how the situation with bathrooms and locker rooms will work out. But in my opinion, the school board did the right thing. To identify this group as the target of harassment and then not add them would serve to further ostracize them. But here's the challenge to the school administration. Treat these students like any other. Do not spend money building special bathrooms. Remember, separate but equal is never really equal, and it could even bring greater attention to their differences. But remember, this isn't a common situation in our school district. I'm confident that the administration will work with these students on an individual basis to provide an environment that they can feel comfortable to learn in. If this amendment makes it easier to clear bureaucratic hurdles, go for it. Now remember, I keep an open mind about all of my opinions, so if you think you can convince me otherwise, feel free to send me an email, micah, M-I-C-A-H, at cbsnews13.com, and we'll talk about it.